Good morning, this is Eugene Kleeper, Round Tree the Third. It's Saturday, March 21st, 2014. Bringing you in with Liquid Soul, a great funk band out of Chicago, Illinois, the USA. So I hope you enjoy these awesome rhythms and cool sounds from Liquid Soul. self-titled album. Now, they come out of the band scene in Chicago, Illinois, and they've got a lot of swing, a lot of soul, and they come from a good place, a hotbed of American jazz, music, cultural influence. Now, 
let's steer into politics as we always do and let's look at that there's a lot about this country that's being suppressed through the quasi-communist agenda the reason I say that is because if you look at the communist manifesto it says that you need to alienate the culture away from the people it also says that you need to work them by the hour now, do you feel like you're able to go out and enjoy any of this culture? Do you feel like your neighbor is? Because, quite honestly, I feel like so many people are working from sun up to sun down that they are not able to go out and enjoy what's around them, let alone be a progenitor playing music like that and experiencing the beauty of making music themselves. And I speak from uh, experience in that note as someone that is a musician that is currently not practicing my art. Why? <laughs> because I am being taxed and billed to the hilt. The absolute hilt. To the likes of which, had I known this as a child, I never would have gone to college, taken out a student loan, also leading to a credit card. I never would have gone for any of that garbage. Because it's a big freaking scam. And I just saw a report out of the UK today that said that 45% of graduates are not able to pay back their loans. And doesn't that make sense now that the government has allowed all money to be sucked up into corporate and banks and the CEOs thereof? Doesn't that make sense? If there's no money for the kids coming out of college, and there's also no places for them to work, because quite honestly we haven't increased manufacturing, which used to be jobs, we haven't increased productivity. No. What they've done is they've taken the places that people used to work at and moved them to different places in third world countries where they could get cheap labor. So now the graduates, your kids, your politicians, neighbors, sons and daughters are now coming out of school and what did they do for you lately, to quote Janet Jackson? Nothing. Because now they are in debt, they are slaves to debt. So why don't we flip this on its head and say, hey, we seem to be seeing a lot of footage of Michelle Obama in red dresses on red carpets, like she's some kind of Hunger Games superstar from the Capitol. And then we're also seeing Barack Obama just photo opt swimming in Hawaii's water, which ironically might have more radiation than Nagasaki itself right now from Fukushima spreading eastbound. Now, why don't we give these politicians a punch clock and why don't we turn the NSA cameras onto their desk and say, okay, you need to be at your desk for 10 hours a day like the slaves that you govern and that you steal money from. And why don't we also have it so that all the money that's in their bank account can be from the salary that they make as they represent us. He already gets free room and board at the White House, but no, he, just, uh, he doesn't want to stay there all the time. He wants to go fly around, hang out in Spain for a week, hang out here, hang out there. Well, your country at home is kind of sucky right now. Maybe you should spend a little more time in your office doing your job. You've got a pen, as you quoted yourself saying. So, why don't we do tax audits on you guys? I haven't heard of a congressman being audited ever. <laughs> Maybe it's happened, and I'm sure somebody could argue me until they're blue in the face while I cover my ears because I don't give a shit, because you are all corrupt. Now, why don't you just say all the money that you can have is the money that you make, which is tax-derived anyways, but Pelosi's net worth is in the multiple millions. How did that ever happen? Was she running a business? I don't think so. And then, what about the money that they get from Monsanto? Monsanto cut checks for all of them so that they could poison and make the whole nation infertile with all of the foods that you get at the grocery store being GMO modified. So you would find out all of those paychecks as well, which I found on opensource.org, printed them all off, posted them on multiple Facebook sites and then just a week later I go to the opensource.org site and all of those Monsanto payoffs were off of the site. 
So, there's plenty of money to be made if you're a politician. And then, listening to a radio show today, it was the Alex Jones show, I was listening to a guy from England who was talking about what we all know to be true. When politicians leave office, they stand to make way more money as a quasi-employee of the companies that they helped while they were in office. You see, government is now the middle management arm that passes laws and protects companies. They're basically employed by corporations. And that makes sense if you look at the current global power structure. Banks, finance, corporations have the uh, infrastructure, and then government makes sure laws go the way that they need to so that the two entities on the top, the banks and corporations, succeed. And so if you scratch my back, I scratch yours is the quote of the day. While you have the nation and your neighbors one in seven on food stamps, many of them in poverty, and now the poverty level is anything for a family of 430,000. Well, that's a lot of people. And so you got to look at your neighbors and say, what the fuck? Seriously. So why do we allow this to go on? The biggest thieves in the world are now in government, corporation, and banks. In fact, if you look at what the banks do and why I say this, they loan out money, but then they say they have 10 times the amount that they loan out when they really don't. That's why they do not want you to empty your bank accounts because they don't have the money to back it up and then survive and pay their own bills. They loan out 10 times more money than they actually physically have. It's made up money. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Because it's it's no different than having a bunch of boxes of Monopoly right behind you and you just keep going after that fake money. It doesn't exist. Add that to the Federal Reserve, which just prints it. And they call that quantitative easing. And then if you look at Drudge Report recently, it said that Yellen was saying that that was a, uh, a generous gift to help boost wealth. I don't think it helped many of your neighbors. <laughs> and I don't see any more people owning homes outright <laughs> without the debt attached to their leg with a ball and chain. Now, I'm not an artist, but I was thinking about lately that I would love to have a picture or a painting made of the globe with a gigantic leech on the side of it, hanging off, getting fatter and fatter with the names of banks, corporations, and governments on it. Who else is making money these days? Anybody that makes bullets and tanks and weapons and missiles. And it's a sad, sad goal of humanity. And now the Pope is quoted as saying that the mafioso in Italy needs to uh, repent of their bloodstained power and bloodstained money. That holds true for all government leaders that are a part of this. Their hands and their suit coats up to their elbows and shoulders are soaked with blood. It's sick. And then they want to say that you can't protect your home, and if you shoot a burglar, then you go to prison. Do you see the irony here? Those without scruples will use that against you and use your morality to make you feel bad about your own actions, while those with scruples suffer and those without scruples continue to manipulate. Does that make sense? If I don't have any morals and ethics, and I know that you do, and I want to be evil, then I will use your own mind against you to make you feel guilty, also so that you will stop dead in your tracks and not pursue anything in front of you as I go in and take over things in front of you and me for my own gain. And that is what the evil mind does. I'm going to leave you with that while we jam out and enjoy a balance of good music. We're going to come back into some liquid soul again, and hopefully this will make your soul feel good as well. Which track do we want? Let's listen to this one. 